protected area. You did the whole fence issue from yeah. a couple of weeks ago or last week. Last week, yep. Um, you couldn't go anywhere. What were you yeah, supposed to I do? Yeah, I just felt like I couldn't really go anywhere. And I'm, I don't deny I was in the protected area. Um, I was following Jack Martin. He went one way, which stepped me, and I had to go the other, which was boundary side. And uh, so I was in the protected zone, but I just I was about a metre from the boundary line. I felt like I couldn't... Mm. Like, I'm not going to run outside the field. And I just said to the umpire, where do you want me to go? And he just said, oh, you just need to show more intent. The AFL seriously need to look at the rule because <clears throat> the, the punishment for the crime doesn't fit, I don't reckon. Like, the, the reason they brought the rule in is to avoid players impacting the mark and people to take the mark. And I think at the minute, you've got 0.01 of a second to make a decision which way to go. And if you go the wrong way, you still don't impact the mark. So you get paid 50 against. Could and I, it slows down the game anyway. Could I put it to you that if you had gone the other way, you still would have got pinged though? Yes, yep. But my my argument is as well that you have to understand, sorry, uh, why the rule's in, so as Jack said, to slow it down. But also, if I ran the other way, I'm restricting the Gold Coast player from, which is two mil, it's actually on, yeah. playing on into the corridor or mm. kicking the ball into the corridor. But I feel like I'm not impacting him by running boundaries. He's not going to play on to the boundary side and he's not going to try and kick it over the boundary line. I think umpires also <laughs> technically say that that was there, that 50 metre penalty was technically there, but they technically missed another 60 in the game as well. So if they so, want to get technical about it, that's where it's at. And I just think it's a shit rule, pardon the French. So Zeeb's like, when you say that the punishment doesn't fit the crime, would you then endorse, say, not only fix that up a little bit, but then is 50 metres too much in a game? Oh, I think so. I think if you had a 25 metre penalty or something like that, but even then, just the time it takes to bring the player forward, it actually gives the opposition sometimes, like giving a 50 metre penalty away in your defensive 50 is not the worst result. If a team's out and could score, yeah. if you could give away a 50 metre penalty, give your defenders time to get back and get behind the ball, it's actually not the worst result. So the time it takes to set the player on their 50 metre mark, um, I reckon that's the AFL is trying to speed the game up, but that just slows it down. So I'll, go to twenty five, you'd say, just try twenty five meters for little things like that. If 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 someone takes a mark and gets clobbered from behind and it's a pretty bad act, then fifty meters go for your life. But for little tiny indiscretions that have no impact on the game, why, why pay fifty?